new shorter version of the diagnostic video, the TinManFreeRail.com. He sold me two switches with his unique upgraded wiring controller system, one of which works great. I will show you that switch right now. It's lit from track power, although the way it's wired, it doesn't require tra track power to be on. And you will now see how readily powerful it switches back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Red and green, red and green. I love these lights. And you see that the uh, second switch that, uh, that I brought uh, has a very tiny bit of power in it, which is getting from the tracks. But it's not wired because what we're doing now is a short test. I'll show you my two legacy switches work, albeit not perfectly. Here's legacy switch number one. On a full power, it does work better. And uh, legacy switch number two also works very well. I had lanterns off because one of the engines brushes up against it. But when we get to switch the last switch, uh, he's not picking up power off the track. So what Tin Man 3 Rail recommended and you should buy from your local shop when you can. But when you can't get the part you need, like oh, two, one or two switches, Kitman 3 Rail is a guy to buy from because he stands behind his, his stuff. All right, what he recommended was, is we try and short out the... Uh, switch, and if the, if the switch is the problem, problem is the switch based on this diagnosis. All right, two minutes and 25 seconds. Hopefully it's enough. And we'll see what Tin Man 3 Rail says when he gets this video. This video will be coming down after he views it. But I tell you, he's a good vendor. Responsive, ships on time, stands behind his merchandise, which is a, not the easiest thing to do in the eBay universe.